All right, I think I finally got it set up right. I was taking forever to try and figure out how to set this crap up. This new GoPro has so much crap that like it's so hard to figure out what the heck you're doing. So right now, I'm just doing another test thing with the GoPro, trying to figure out how to use this thing. So I'm just doing another test video. Um, so this video kind of has like no point. I mean, it has a point, but like it's not like my normal video or anything like that. Um, usually my videos are like about skateboarding or something. This is me building something that I need at the moment, so kind of like no purpose to you guys, but hey, if you're a guitar player and you have the same problem, this video might help you. Look at the new Carhartt jacket I just got for work purposes only, right? Um, it's for, you know, tree trimming. That's exactly why I got it, because you know it's cold out, it's gonna be starting to get cold outside. It should be cold outside, but it's not. Um, but yeah. Sometimes, you know, six and seven in the morning, it's like freaking like freezing outside. So a couple sweatshirts just ain't cutting it no more. I want a Carhartt coat that actually fits me. So I got this bad boy today and drained my bank account a little bit. You know, took it a little smidge down, like too far. But it's all worth it because I'm going to be warm. Luckily, I don't need it right now because it's fucking hot as hell out here. But today I'm building something for my guitars. Damn. Okay, right, anyways. I'm building something for my guitars. My guitars hang on the wall, right? Um, but my cats like to just bounce them off the wall. They sit up on the wall and they go boom, boom on the guitar and make it swing so it bounces off the wall. And I hate that shit. So I'm gonna fix that. But I can't seem to find anything on the internet or at any guitar store. I'm trying to find something that is like sticking out of the wall like a T. Like a T like this. Right? sticks out the wall like this and holds the basic guitar out so it can't swing. Can't find it anywhere, but I've seen them, I've seen them before, I just can't find it anywhere to buy. Like I've seen it in music stores and stuff. So I decided to give up on that and I'm just gonna make it right now. With, with uh, where is it? With broomsticks and this chunk of cedar that is kind of destroyed, but we're gonna use it, all right? chunk of cedar and these broomsticks. I mean, heck, I, most of my things, everything I build, all my skate ramps I build, like most things I build are just recycled scrap wood. Like a fucking broomstick I found in the burn pile. Like what? You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. So we need the uh, T to stick out six inches. I already measured that. So, it's gonna be relatively small. I didn't want the broomsticks to be this thick, but this is the only thing I have lying around. And it's all right that they're this thick, but it's just like, bro, come on now, you know what I mean? It's kind of annoying. But we're gonna, we're gonna get started on this. So, I'm kind of just going with the flow. I have no plan here. I mean, I have a plan, but I don't have any like specific numbers for plans. Three inches looks pretty good. Like, <laughs> like that's how I do my stuff. I just say, oh yeah. That looks decent, we'll just go with that. And we'll mark it. And how wide do we want it to be? Probably about two inches. Oh yeah, two inches looks pretty good. I'll mark this off. Oh, I bet this board is not square at all. Sheesh, she's square as hell. All right, cool, we're good then. <laughs> So my plan is is uh, to cut out four, uh, three of these because I have three guitars hanging on my wall right now. So I need three of these. So I'm just gonna mark out all three here. Yeah, I guess I can kind of just like uh, stop this directly on. Well, if we need three two inches, oh quick math, Kate, come on, that's six inches. Yeah. Why am I so dumb, bro? Oh my god, I feel like I shouldn't even post this because I just feel so dumb for that now. Please nobody make a comment about that. Nobody say anything about what just happened. What stays on Cade Rollin' YouTube channel. I mean, what happens on Cade Rollin' YouTube channel stays on Cade Rollin' YouTube channel. Fuck. What the fuck? Now I know damn well I just locked out on a six. Y'all saw me locked out on a six. 
Oh my god, I am the dumbest motherfucker alive! I locked it on an upside down nine! I locked it on an upside down nine. That looks like a six, right? It's a fucking nine, because there's a ten! Bro, I'm actually so freaking dumb, bro. Alright, if I want to do this the right way, I gotta turn this around. Now I really- I'm just sitting here talking about how dumb I am, and then I go ahead and pull some shit like that. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm like, please, nobody talk about how dumb I am, and then I just fucking do that shit. So, yep. You know what, you guys just go right on ahead and just slice me up. Tell everybody you know Casey Dumbest Motherfucker. Looks perfect. What the hell am I doing? This just has to be three inches. Yep, now to check if that's three inches, let's check real quick. Three inches. Alright, now we just need to go like this. Check this swift ass trick out. One, two. Alright. Now these cuts ain't gonna be perfect because the blade's gonna take away about a sixteenth of an inch. So it's gonna be actually an inch and fifteen sixteenths of an inch. So, but I really don't care. Like, does it look like I care? No. I don't. Because I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. That's why it looks like I don't care, because I don't. Alright, there's our three pieces of wood. One, two, three. I might not be smart, but I still can count. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna cut them on this bitch. I mean, why not? I mean, I could do the jigsaw, but that's like I gotta get out the jigsaw. So, I'm just gonna have to like cut them out on this thing, because it's a pretty thick piece of wood, so. I don't know, I ain't trying to like hook shit up. This smart thing to do is, is always wear your eye and ear protection. Let me go get some ear protection. My ears are already effed up a little bit too much, so I don't want to lose any more hearing than I already have. This is a fresh new blade, actually. This is a fresh new blade, so it's uh, going to cut really well, I hope. I haven't used it yet. Yep, that's perfect. Oh. Sorry, if my wood we if my woodworking teacher saw that, I'm sorry because fuck. You're not supposed to lift up when you're done cutting. That cut like butter. That was amazing. And let's do it again. See, that's what you're supposed to do. Hey, let go of my wood! And that's how you make it not grab the wood. But you're not supposed to do that apparently. I don't know why, but you're not supposed to. And you're also supposed to not rip a piece of wood with this. I don't know why, but that's what they taught us in school. Like years ago, I haven't been in school for a while. You know, like for the past two and a half years, I haven't been in school, so. Dude, this thing literally cuts like butter. That's awesome. Anyways, here's our three pieces. Here's our leftover. I'll put this back on the rack. Out, so that's not gonna be the front. Oh, I bet I could. You know what? I could make these look really good. You know what? I could make these look really good. I could get rid of that chip. I could. I could add more chips. I mean, shit. We're gonna wrap this bitch. That's the bit I need right there. That's just peachy. Now, un you have to keep it unplugged when you're messing with the blade. Like, that's just another safety rule that I came up with by myself. A lot of people don't follow that. I, I don't even know if this blade's in there tight. We gotta make sure it's in there tight. Tight enough, that's all. <laughs> that's all I gotta do to check it out.
It's perfect. Let's do our pieces here. So this one, we want to take that chip out. This is a really small piece of wood, so it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at that sheet. Now, they also told us in woodworking class, if your hand ever has to be inside the red, don't make the cut. I'm literally inside the red the entire way because this piece is so tiny. But it's kind of scary, actually. It's really scary. And I got to do two more. Because, like, if it catches one, my hand's going in the blade. I just jinxed myself. No, I didn't. All right, we're good. I'm very happy to have all my fingers after that. That was really scary. It's just so close to the blade. You're like right over top of the blade or the bit. I don't know whatever you want to call it. That's just like, you're like literally like, like, bruh. But they all turned out beautifully. So now for the next part, the, 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 Room sticks here. Gotta turn up the speed on this thing, man. It really looks like the perfect size. Until you stick it in, it's wobbly. <sighs> what am I gonna do about that? That room stick, what if it's like that room stick's too skinny? What if one of these it's like the perfect size, right? Oh, we got a big one here. Okay. And this one's got the threaded end. Oh, okay, okay. We might have a good thing going for us here, right? Very hard to do without a precision lathe or something, or like at least just a woodworking lathe. I'm not gonna be super like accurate with the middle or anything. I don't really care that much, but like I should probably move it down a little bit. Sheesh! I don't know why she's smoking so bad. go okay now new method here well not new method um next step I guess I should say we clamp that in right now we're gonna measure six inches off of this piece we got going on right here so I'm gonna mark it for six I mean five and three quarters because when we put the other piece on, it's gonna stick out a little bit past six, so. Makes everything a little bit easier. Just gotta try and be accurate with it. Nice. 
Oh shit. Yeah. It's it's starting to come together, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm starting to think there's gonna be a problem though. How am I gonna get like a drill to that? I might have to just use a screwdriver. Like honestly, that's might just what I have to do. That's whatever. Um because you can't like See what I mean? The drill's too big and bulky, you can't get past the thing. You might just have to use like a bunch of extender pieces just to get the darn screw into the wall. <laughs> See when I drill it, I like to make it make a hole in the bottom there, just so it's like Roughly like just about to pop out the bottom so you have some wood to go to the back of but also you're getting as far as you can get in there Yes, sir Let's check her out how far to go in. It's not all the way in which is cool because I want to get it as tight as possible, which means if I have to use a mallet at the end of this, and that's what I'll do. So I think we're going to try just to give her a little, little tap to tap. All right, that went in deep enough. I don't want to split the wood. That went perfect. And we want it six inches out from the wall not from the bottom of the peg, right? So, but remember we're measuring five and three quarters. Save us some space there. This drill's gotta go. Can't move my saw around. So what we're working with here. Well, one's slightly taller than the other one here, but that don't really matter to me. As long as it's around the ballpark, really, that's all that cares. That's all that matters. All that cares. Alright. Last one. This is really fun. I haven't done any woodworking in a long time. Another perfect cut. I'm surprised I haven't messed any of those up yet. I really thought I was gonna mess that up. Like, oh damn it! I forgot. I wanted to sand the faces of these before I put in the pegs. I ain't taking them out now because then I'll screw it up. And I'm not gonna do this one because you know then. But it's whatever. We don't really care about looks too much, right? We don't care about looks. See who needs a lathe when you got this awesome technique right here. Fitting in pretty good. Damn, what's my battery percent? One percent? Damn! What the fuck? That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to run and get another battery soon. Yes, it's good. And it's not touching the back yet. That's perfect. Just beat it in with a hammer real quick. Just, just a little bit. Just enough. Hold it in. No wood split. No wood split. Damn, baby, I'm too good. I'm too fresh with it. Too fresh. How much? Have I been? 52 minutes? I've been out here for 52 minutes? I wanted to make it fall out that way this time so I didn't hit the drills. You see, it's way crooked. Luckily, I cut extra, not too much, so we can just kind of <laughs> plop it down this joint. Oh no, the block don't reach, damn it. I guess I'm just gonna have to freehand it like this, which is kind of dangerous, but like. <laughs> yeah, I need a, I need a new belt on that. It's kind of like, you know, Crisping my shit, you know, but it's all right. 
All right, next step would be finding out how long we want this piece. Here's my plan. You take this piece right here, right? And we're gonna make the T, all right? Man, it's so goddamn ugly though. It's whatever, we don't really care about looks too much, right? That's annoying. All right, new plan of action. Check this out. This is gonna be really sick. And if it fucks up, then it fucks up, but you know. We're gonna give it a whirl. Center point, somewhere right about there. Check this out. So we're gonna try and slap that John in there, right? It's not quite big enough though. I think I can go deeper. I can definitely go deeper. Yeah, that's more even. So now, I think we gotta kind of like somehow sand this down so that it kind of fits in there better. And then we can make our drill. Or heck, if we just kind of pressed it, would that work? Uh, it's just not big enough. Fudge. Oh, well, let's get to sanding. <laughs> Probably put it on the right way though. Oh shit, did I mess it up? Damn it. I was testing it like this, and this it's not fitting right, but the way it's actually supposed to be is like this, and of course it's loose that way. Fudge. I feel like an idiot. Dang it. That's okay, we'll just set a screw in this one, right? We'll just set a screw there. No biggie. Or I could just drill deeper into this one. Try and set it in there deeper so it can have room to stick. Or wait, wait, wait a minute. Nope, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill a little bit deeper, see if it sets in. Only a little bit, only a little bit. Don't go too far, because then we'll break it. Oh? Oh no, <laughs> I think we made it worse. <laughs> the vibes. Well, maybe. Wait a minute. Maybe. Wait a minute. What if I could rotate this whole peg piece here? <coughs> oh, fuck. It's, it's early in there, though. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's really in there. If I could stick a punch in there and punch it out. Suck. Oh, 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 no split. Let's go, baby. So now, here's what we're gonna do stick it back in this way. Yep, take this piece off so that we can hammer it. She ain't coming out of there anytime soon, that's for sure. It's not that way. Damn it, did I twist it too much? Trying to find out which way it goes and now it's loose on both ways? I'm just gonna put wood glue in there. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna kind of smear it around in there. All right, there's our finished product, guys. Right there. Now I just gotta let it dry. The other ones, hopefully, I won't have to do that because I won't fuck them up. But uh, yeah, I'll show you now. Um, I'll just skip the other two and just show you now what it looks like inside on the wall. All right, so. I'm back inside. All three are finished. All went pretty well. And I just put a new battery in. So you guys get to see me attach them too. So here's what I'm talking about, right? Here's the guitar, as you can see. And Pumpkin 
thinks it's funny at 3 a.m. to go like this with the guitar and make it swing and bounce off the wall. And it's continuously like boom, 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 because it just keeps pushing it into the wall. Also, check out these cool ass guitar knobs I put on. Fucking sick, bro. Anyways, yeah, so it's damaging the back of my guitars. You know, I have three of them going on there. So, also, don't look how messy my room is. I was in the middle of cleaning it up and then I gave up. So, so for our first one here, this is going to be kind of like a trial and error type thing, right? So, we want it to be, let's see here, like this, around the base of the guitar. So that's how it's supposed to work. See, the cat can't knock it back. It's holding the guitar out an inch rather than where it would usually be. Like about there. More than an inch, actually, it looks like. But that's what we want to do with it. So I'm going to put it up a little bit just so that it fits all guitars, you know what I mean? So right there is kind of where I'm chilling with it. Put the guitar on this stand. Yes, that's pretty good. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out, all right? So, we're gonna double extend and then have a long bolt on top of it. That's fucking crazy. All right, well, if it works, it works, all right? You know what I could have done? I am really dumb. You know that? I am really dumb. To mark where the holes should be, could have just drilled through here. I'll show you in a minute. Like that. You know, I have two ends poking out. And, uh... Magically, I actually was accurate with it and it actually does fit. That's pretty cool. But it's... I was slightly off, so it's like up angled, which is not good, but it's okay. See how it's like, see how it's like sticking up right there? See that? Yeah, I misplaced the, dr I drilled the hole in the wrong spot. It's slightly too high, so it has to like bend up to get into the hole. So I can't entirely put it on correctly. That's just my bad. But it's whatever. Damn, bro. Why the fuck is my neck and, like, side, like, cramping out? That was weird. Anyways, I can't put any fuzz stuff on it, like, uh, foam. Because my cat will literally eat it off. I know him because look at these. Look at these things. My cat has already, like, chewed off all the freaking foam on these ones. And these hold the neck. And that's why I made them. Because they used to be, like, above my bed. And he could reach them. And he would chew them. Now he can't reach them. But he can definitely reach these because they're like right above the floor. So I'm just going to have to like ever so gently lay it on there like that. But hey, that's how it does. That's how it does. Check it out, man. So that's the new, that's the new look for the guitar. I like it. I like it. This is working out great. This is great. See, it holds out the guitar slightly more. About an inch. Or more than an inch, you could tell. <laughs> I don't know. I, my measurements aren't clean. But yeah, we got to do one to this one too. Put it down there. And then we got to put one behind the base as well. This could be like the part where like you guys go, okay, I'm just going to keep watching. Or you say, you know what? I'm going to just stop watching because this is getting really boring. And I just give up at life. But I'm um, tight. This is the next one. It's actually crooked. What the fuck? When did it become crooked? Holy shit, that's mega crooked. I did not do that. Why is it so crooked? What the hell? Bruh. That is crooked as hell. Wait, hold up, I just want to see what this is going to look like. 
Bruh. That is so crooked. Now, okay. Video's not over. Sorry, guys. You have to watch me fix this now. This kind of sucks. I don't know how I'm going to fix it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna admit. I'm gonna admit that I'm gonna try, but I don't think it's gonna go as planned. She's straight now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all it needed. Don't go back to crooked, please. It's going back to crooked. Why are you doing that? Please don't be mother freaking crooked. Okay, wait, that's good. It's in there tight, so I know it's not going anywhere. That was way easier than I expected. I thought that was gonna be bad. Let's see how she does on the um, wall here. Tips. Now I got the tips sticking out, right? Now I'm gonna press it down where I want it to, and it's gonna leave imprints. All right. That's roughly the same spot there. Oh, that's right in the crack of this. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna have to go a little bit below. A little bit below is fine. Don't really matter. Yep, there's my two imprints. I'm gonna drill them real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you tell where my hair was at when you found me? That one went on a lot better than the other one. It's completely secured to the wall, pretty flat, because I did the holes right this time. Sheesh. This is just too perfect, I mean. And I can, I can use the strap to like put on the back so it's not completely touching the wood, even though it, it will be fine, because it's not like a constant beating like this. And I don't think you understand how sharp my wall is. People who've been to my house can tell my wall is literally like Velcro sandpaper. Like literally, let me show you what it does to a damn sock, okay? Let me show you what it does to a damn sock. Let me show you. It's fucking Velcro, bro. It, it fucking, it sticks, it's, it's, it's Velcro. It's like the grittiest sandpaper you know and it's horrible. And my cat was just beating my guitars against it, scratching up the back. So not this one so much because this is a really hard wood. That one too. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely gonna help him. So, so you could, look what he fucking did there. He scratched the hell out of it. Horrible. But yeah, he can't, he can't bounce it anymore because it's extended. <clears throat> now for this one, which I actually just hung this one today. I used to not know where to hang it. And I wanted to put it over there, but there's not enough space. So now I thought, well, why not put it here? Well, there is a reason not to put it there because bada bing, bada bing. Look at these fucking screws hanging out. It ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody care. I just hope it's still strong. But you know, it seems to be holding up pretty good. So now, hey, what you doing, bro? Yeah, why are you scratching? Look what he does to my case, bro. Completely fucking destroyed. This cat is a menace. He's a menace to society. I have to cat proof my entire life just to have this dude be happy. And then he still goes ahead and destroys everything. And then I usually just kind of sit that there. Um, it's not supposed to be there though. Usually the acoustic goes on the floor stand. Or it could be on one of these. Just guitars are usually hanging. I just kind of have that one in the case right now. So let's do this last one right now. I showed these things to my parents and they were like, what is that? And I was like, it's a capital T. And they just looked at me and they're like, what is it? And I'm like, damn, bro, can't you just take a joke? Like, what the fuck? And uh, they thought it was bracelet stands. I'm like, 
Do you know that I don't wear bracelets? Are you even my mom? Are you even my real dad? What the hell is this? So, I don't wear bracelets. I wear rings, dog. So, I was like, no, it's a guitar stand on Pumpkin Destroyer. That's what it is. Because, you know, Pumpkin likes to destroy shit, so... Oh, there's nothing over here I can oh yeah I don't want to I don't want to drill into that <laughs> that be good I'm stripping this up these are really hard to do Oh, it just split. Did you see that motherfucker? I must have had a weak spot in the wood. I bet there's a fucking knot somewhere, is there? There's gotta be a knot somewhere. Probably on the back. Damn it. See that nasty ass split? Fucker. Did it split on the top too? Why did this one? I gotta check the other ones. I gotta check. That's something about cedar too. Cedar tends to split very easily. Let's see what's up with these ones. No, these ones didn't split at all. Nope, no split. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Well, that's very upsetting. All of them have this little nub there that is uh, sticking out. I'm gonna get rid of it. Good. I can't believe that motherfucker split. It's very annoying. And that one seems to be pretty flat too. Yeah. Yep, so it's doing its job just as it should. And that's just something. Now my cat can't mess with my crap no more. So there you have it guys. My guitars are hung and if you want to make your own, that's how you do it. Because apparently any music store you go to doesn't have them. So. Um, and originally this is where I put my keyboard. Now my keyboard goes there. Still trying to find a better place for it. Just know that unless you come up with a better idea, you're going to need like two extenders and a really long um, Phillips head bit thingamajig. But uh, yeah, if you use better materials, like actually go out and buy the right size stuff instead of just using stuff you have. Or if you have a lathe so you can lathe it down, that'd be better as well. Or in fact, if you just make the base piece a lot bigger so you can actually fit your drill there, you know. And have enough wood so it doesn't split. God dang it, that annoys me. I Honestly, I just wanted to record a video with my new GoPro. So, this is a very pointless and boring video. And I doubt that anybody has watched this far. But if you did, you get to see something really cool. I give you a gift. Look at this. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you see what that is? That's a motherfucking DeLorean, bitch. It's one of my favorite cars in the whole world. And it sucks that they're so expensive. And then look at this, this Mustang right here. Freaking awesome. It's pretty sick. Got like a drum kit, a couple uh, Matchbox, or I mean Hot Wheels cars. And got a bunch of stuff going on, motorcycles. We get to see, you know what, this is really cool. You know, if you stayed this long, you get to see all my stuff, right? We got this record here that's been warped into a pick holder. Very sick. It's a Columbia record. Pretty freaking sick. And we got Dean Martin's Greatest Hits 
in the original plastic wrapping with spider webs on it of course um one of the cleanest records i have and then volume two as well in the plastic wrapping thank you pappy for bringing me these delectable gifts from the flea market one dollar a piece are you kidding me bro this is like the most amazing thing ever in the original packaging it's freaking awesome so we got some records here we got a bunch of records here and then we have a pumpkin clawing my back get off my shirt bro get off get off my shirt thank you here's my record player right you know you already know how it is no records in there and then we have my nut rub pretty sick um skateboard wall of skateboards what else do we got oh we got amy right here what's up amy everybody say hello to amy what else can i show you um i i didn't do the guitar i did not make this guitar but i did make my name mommy look at money my rings this is that ring i just made still holding up pretty good i wear it pretty much every single day here's this other one that i made and still holding up pretty good um if the camera would focus and what i'm talking about holding up is a clear coat because i'm trying out this new clear coat and those are the only two that have it on it so far and it's working out phenomenally it takes forever to put on though it takes literally like three days to put on so yeah and here's a bunch of other rings that i've made some that i haven't um but pretty much all of them i have made pretty sick we got a coin ring right here this is a dollar coin and it needs polished, but god damn if it would focus. Well, it's never going to focus, but it's a dollar coin. There's a bunch of rings in there. Bunch of rings in there. Bunch of them. So, it's pretty cool. And this little box is pretty cool. You know, you just kind of slide all the shit on it. This is not really a gift to the people who stayed the longest. This is just me wanting to use my camera more because I'm excited. I want to skate so bad, but it's just like, can't skate right now. And I want to try out the like, auto stabilization. I want to film my friends and other people at the skate park, but it'd be raining all the time. I got amps. I got two amps. That's a bass amp and a Fender Champion 100 amp. Um. Has a bunch of effects on it i bought that like probably two years ago it's for 400 bucks at links it's, it's well it's well worth the price i saved up a lot of birthday money for that crap i tell you what that was that was a big you know bank breaker right there you know what else is a big bank breaker um let me show you the bass guitar Wait, what was that? I think that was either three hundred or four hundred. I can't remember, but it was like an, it was a solid hundred. It was like two ninety nine or either three ninety nine, one of those. But then this guitar, the Dean, that is a thousand dollar guitar, and I bought it used for about five hundred bucks. I think it was a little less than five hundred. It was like four seventy five or something like that. I can't remember, but I got it at Guitar Center used, and I do like it, but I don't play it as much. But uh, yeah, that was a bank breaker too. Yeah. And then I just started going crazy and buying guitars. And then I bought this one. This one was really cheap. It was like a hundred, like fifty bucks, like really cheap. And um, that's because it's an Epiphone, not a Gibson. But I still love this guitar more than any guitars I have, bro. This thing is sick. I love it. it plays so easy. Plays so nice. And all my friends that come over and play it, they're like, "Ooh, this is the best guitar ever." I'm like, "Yes, sir." It's like the fourth set of strings on it now. And um, yeah, I love that guitar. The bass, I barely play. I don't know any songs on bass. I learned them, and now I can't remember them because I barely play. I only play my songs. Like, when I write a song and I write the bass lines to it, that's the only songs I know how to play on bass. I think I think I don't know what else to say. So I'm just going to hand it off to Punky, see if he has anything to say. Good words, good words.